Hey everybody, welcome back behind the bar. Uh, it's been a bit, right? <laughs> um, I haven't posted a video review in over a month. Um, I needed to take some time away, I took the channel down for a little bit um, for some personal reasons, nothing major. Uh, but just needed to happen for a little bit, and we're back. Um, I've actually recorded a review or two to post, but uh, I was a little sloppy and just uh, wasn't quite back up to my standards, however low those may be. Um, but I figured let's do let's come back in the way we we went out with a little IPA action and um, get back in it. Uh, a couple things. I promised some things before I kind of went on sabbatical there for a bit. I'm still going to give away some openers, some glasses. Um, those videos are actually recorded. I recorded them before I took my channel down a while back. And I just haven't edited them and put them up yet. So I will put them up for hitting 600 subscribers. I'm still going to give some stuff away. That will probably be later this week or early next week. And that's going to happen. So that's still going to happen. It was for 600 subscribers. We're at 650 now. So I missed a... A uh, little bit of a gap there, but not a big deal. So let's dive in. Let's review a beer, guys. It's been far too long. Um, yeah, so uh, this one comes courtesy of my man Joe. Um, Monkish swap meets sticky greens and bag traffic. Motherfuckers act like they forgot about Dre. Um, yeah, Monkish. I'm um, killing it out in California um, in the LA area. Torrance. Um, this is a double IPA clocking at 8.3%. Um, I've only, Joe and everybody out there raves about Monkish beers, um, that they're killing the New England style. I've had two to this point. One that I believe I reviewed for the channel. I don't remember what it was. It was okay. Um, Joe sent me another can along with this one that I also thought was really good, but not like 100 out of 100 or like, it's like borderline world class A beer. So I mean, it's still really good, but not quite. Um, what I the, the hype right <laughs> the hype trains real guys um, they don't date their cans at least this one's not dated I think it's just a couple weeks old um, maybe three or four so plenty fresh we'll get it into a glass see what's going on guys it's been a bit I missed missed everybody um, yeah gotten some good beers that'll be reviewing I'm um, taking some trips lately I uh, just got back from American Solera over the weekend. If you haven't heard of them, Google that right now after this video. Um, look that up because they're going to be a new hotness for sure. They just opened officially over the weekend. Um, just confirmed that I get to go to a brewery event coming up in a month and a half that I'm pumped about. And I'll probably film a video at, but that's for a later date <laughs> um, that occurred today. So that's exciting too. But uh, let's dive into this one, guys. Um, pours out that pineapple orange juice. Um, haze, haze, haze for days. I mean, it looks darker on camera, but mostly that's because um, there's just not a lot of light getting through that. I mean, I can't see my finger. You can't see anything. Um, looks killer in the glass. It's that it's that token New England style, guys. It looks killer, though. It's kind of like that orange yellow. Um, poured out about finger, finger and a half. Bright, white, fluffy, like you could just spoon it out and eat it. Um, head that's not really dissipating too quick. Um, good glass lacing already. Looking killer, killer for 8.3%. Looks exactly like it should in the glass for the style. Looks amazing. Let's see what it smells like. Yeah, it's huge. Big like tangerine, pineapple, mango. Um, like even like get some nice tropical elements like a sweet like tropical fruit skittles kind of thing going on even like a little bit of like like um what am i thinking of getting a little bit of malty sweetness in there not a lot um a little bit of sugary sweetness um a little bit of hot bitterness in there too some resinous definitely on the end of that um with the from the aroma standpoint there's definitely a little bit of resin there Almost like a plantain kind of quality to it as well. Like a um, almost overripe banana kind of juiciness, but mostly tropical citrus notes for the most part. Almost has like a sweet, like tangerine Jolly Rancher quality to it as well. 
freaking killer. Smells killer. I can't wait to dive into this. Um, Joe, thank you very much. Um, and since this is the first video I'm going to post that I recorded since I got back, I actually went and hung out with Joe a couple weeks ago. Um, and we recorded a ton of videos for his channel and it was a ton of fun. We just finished them up. There's one more to post that he's probably going to post next week. I'm assuming based on timing. Um, but we recorded like 15 beer reviews while I was out there and most of them have been posted. They're funny. Um, as you know, we're kind of the, somebody described it recently. We're kind of the relatable beer reviewers. Maybe I don't take it too seriously like some people, which is fine. I ever teach their own, um, but go check those out. I'll put a link to his channel below. Literally. I mean, probably f I think it's like 11 videos, something like that so far. So definitely check that out. But Joe, thank you very much. We can't wait to try this. Um, cheers guys. big full full flavor it was a full aroma but the the taste is like next level um as far as like in your face there is nothing thin like it doesn't have like a watered down flavor or anything like that this is full full flavor um big tropical notes right in, right up front um you're getting pineapple you're getting mango like overripe like overripe like squishy pineapple um a little bit of peach and tangerine flows right into this like orange like jolly rancher sweetness and then actually comes in like a little bit of dankness and some pininess um is how it kind of finishes finishes real nice not real dry but a little bit um good medium mouthfeel medium medium plus killer carbonation velvety across the tongue um 8.3 percent hides it really well there's definitely a sweetness to this beer for sure um but it's not it's not like a, a boozy sweetness not not even just a smidge um it, it's real nice um overall like i said it's got this nice bitter finish um not like west coast style bitter but like a like a lemon zest kind of grapefruit pith um like lemon lemon zest i think is a really good way to describe it bittering thing on the in like orange rind kind of thing but just like that white part of the fruit. But yeah, great flavor. I mean, from a malt standpoint, it's really just kind of there, as I've said many, many times before, just to kind of like set the table and showcase those hops. Um, there's a little bit of kind of like, like bready, like, like really like dense, like white bread thing. Um, like sweet, like almost like hashtag iron kids bread kind of thing. Um, not real like dusty grain or anything like that or like that crackery thing it's more of like a sweet ripe white bread kind of thing i'm even getting a little bit of that plantain thing that's kind of carrying over and like i described on the nose like those I, this is actually really reminding me like a tropical fruit skittle a skittle the blue greenish blue bag um just like those blue ones and like the green colored ones and like the, the i used to love tropical fruit skittles as a kid um I, I prefer them to regular skittles and this is really reminding me of that it's actually some similarities um not quite as in my face but if you've ever had double sunshine from lawson's or even like triple sunshine it's got that really in your face like almost like guava kiwi like to the extreme tropical fruit like you expect coconut to fall off of a tree in front of you kind of thing um this has a lot of those same elements this is really this reminds me a lot of double sunshine not quite as thick and as viscous um it's not quite that creamy but it's it's that's what it's reminded me of this is definitely my favorite monkish beer i've had so far for sure as far as grade um we're probably looking at I'm gonna go 98 on this one i mean it's not it's not blowing my mind but it's really really freaking good like it's not like drop the mic kind of thing like some other beers that i've had um we have one coming in two days that i'm hoping is a drop the mic kind of moment um, my next review is probably going to be another double ipa coming in out of canton massachusetts if that tells you anything um that i am stoked for spoiler alert <laughs> but um that's where i'm going with this one guys we're gonna go 98 i really like this beer joe thank you very much for sending this um thanks for being a great guy in the craft beer community 
that you know it's i love this community it's been great like even since my channel's been gone so many people have reached out just making sure everything's okay um and um if there's anything they can do or, or just things like that i mean the day after i shut my channel down i woke up to like 45 messages um wondering where i'd gone so that that's awesome i appreciate you guys watching it's a small i mean it's less than 700 people but we keep growing and i'm gonna keep doing it um i think <laughs> i want to um We'll keep doing it, but uh, yeah, I, I really appreciate you guys watching. It, it's been, um, I've missed it. I've missed recording videos for you guys and seeing your comments and having that camaraderie and that community. Um, I've missed it, so um, don't take it too seriously, ever. I never will. Um, some people do. I've experienced that more in the last couple months than I ever thought I would, but um, stay tuned. A lot of exciting stuff coming. Um, I recorded a video down in American Solera. That'll be up sometime later this week once I can figure out how to get it off my phone the best way possible. Um, so that'll be coming, the new double IPA that I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm probably going to do an American Solera beer. Um, I'll probably do, I don't know, I'm going to throw a stout in there somewhere. I have a keg of something that I'd actually like to review. I might can be able to like, pour it out for you on camera, but i got a pretty good keg of beer that I'm going to do. So I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff coming up, guys. Um, I'm going to be selling my swag. Um, I promise that's coming. I just am not. I've been so overworked. I'm not. Like, if I did that tomorrow, I would be so overwhelmed. I don't have packing materials or anything for everything to ship out. So as soon as I get that, we'll be good to go there. And, um, yeah, we'll leave it there, guys. Monkish swap meets. Sticky greens and bag traffic. It's a Dr. Dre reference. I love their references on their cans. It's awesome. But um, 98 out of 100, guys. Thanks for the likes, subscribes, and comments. Until next time. Cheers.